years ago there was an advertising campaign on British TV, maybe internationally, I don't know, um, which had the, the punchline, you can't top a Grolsch, and they were using the, uh, the analogy of how hard these things look like they're going to be to open, because they've got this weird swing ring thing with the stopper in the top. Um, and when you actually come to open them, they're really, really easy, so I guess maybe the design of the bottle was putting people off a little bit. Anyway, the only difficult thing about a Grosch is if you try and drink it from the bottle, because you look like a real tick, because you're kind of struggling to avoid choking on the, the stopper. Anyway, if you're civilised and drinking from a glass, it comes out a nice golden reddish amber colour. Smell is pretty much middle of the road, commercial lager style smell. It's a slightly chemical smell. If you're familiar, familiar with Stella Artois from a can, it smells almost identical to that, which is kind of bizarre. Um, I was expecting it to smell a bit different from the bottle. Usually the bottle version of those big beers isn't quite so chemical, but anyway. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. There is hop presence there. It's very fizzy, it's just one of those fizzy piss lagers, but it doesn't taste too bad. It's weird, that chemical taste is there. Like I said, normally you don't get that in the bottle version of these beers. Normally they're better. This is quite disappointing. It's been years since I had a Grosch, so I can't quite remember what they taste like, but if someone told me this was Stella straight out of the can, I'd totally believe them. And uh, some pretty horrible memories are coming back of very drunken nights playing um, various um, golf games on PlayStation and so on. Um, it's just another big commercial lager, pretty harmless, 5% ABV, uh, reasonably tasty, going to give you a hangover, honestly, if you ever come across a Grolsch and want to drink one, you won't be surprised by it, let's put it that way.